the way I see it, every high and low in the market is liquidity. There are always stop losses, like limit orders sitting above highs and below lows. So when price comes up and drives through these highs, it is grabbing people's stop losses that are placed right here. So that being said, we came up, drove through those highs, swept liquidity at this high and started making that move down. All right, folks, here we are on trading up. We got Ethan in the house who's about to break down for you. Uh, his simple trading strategy is kind of simple and it's based on supply and demand, liquidity grabs. There's two setups. You're going to learn them today. And now after this, you probably want to check out the podcast we recorded with him. There's a link directly under this video, so go and check that out. But first, let's uh, meet Ethan and then dive into the charts. What up, guys? Yeah, Ethan or EP, whatever one. But yeah, I'm uh, excited to show you guys how I see the charts. And you guys are going to be like, damn, this that's very simple. And that's how I like my trading. Keep it as simple as possible. And I think what we might do is we also might jump into your notion and see what some of those trades look like in the past as well that you've taken. So... Um, that's his trade journal right let's share that screen and have a look awesome folks if you're looking for a profit at the moment and you want someone who's been around for ages flexible reliable and has low profit targets then check out my sponsors blue guardian so these guys i've been trading with them for the last eight months they've been sponsoring the show for about that amount of time and they even have guys on my live stream trading them as well so what i found is their commission seems to be lower than some of the competitors out there so really great trading environment and they offer now c trader and some other fantastic trading platforms as well if you want to check them out there's a coupon code in the description or or just use it trading that all one word and get 10 cent off at checkout there's a qr code you can grab here as well all right folks let's get on with the show so the first example right we have is uh this trade on nasdaq Th these examples i'm showing on trading view are not trades that i took this things that like a setup that i would take all right so that being said if you guys don't know what supply and demand zones are um they are the first or like for a uh, demand zone is the last bearish candle for an aggressive buy move up that breaks structure so as you see here, we have this last bearish candle. So I marked that up as a demand zone. We, we blew through these highs, breaking that structure. All right. So that being said, we came down, retraced into the zone, and then showed that we respected it. All right. After that, once again, I just I just looked for the entry then. All right. It's showing me that the, the, the demand zone is holding. We are going with trend. So there we go. That's all we need to know. That being said, we broke structure here right here we got a closure above structure and that's all that's all i need all right i enter that with a fixed 25 point stop loss 75 point take profit and bam uh it gets smashed so it's very simple right like that's that's all to it and then my other uh so setup, can i ask can i ask you a question on this um just so i get it so basically you're just looking for the first one to break structure and then you want to see it do it again to get in so you almost need a double confirmation on the structure break or would you have yeah, gotten so, on that first one so the demand zone is confirmed when it breaks structure so this is just telling me that this break of structure from right here is just telling me that this is a valid demand zone okay right. and then from there i'm just waiting for another break of structure to catch my entry right okay cool got it right yeah so i take two different i take uh two three different setups but i'll show you guys two so one setup is supply and demand that i just showed you here and the other one is liquidity grabs okay so very simple literally same concept all right so as you see here we have these swing highs here and if you guys don't know what liquidity liquidity is i'm sure somebody could explain it better than i can um but the way i see it every high and low in the market is liquidity all right because there are there are always stop losses uh and like limit orders sitting above highs and below lows all right, so when price comes up and drives through these highs, it is grabbing people's stop losses that are placed right here. So that being said, we came up, drove through those highs, swept liquidity at this high, and started making that move down. Um, most people would catch, like a lot of SMC or ICT people would catch their entry up here, but I like confirmation, okay? Some people would think the entry I have right here is too late, but in my eyes, it's not, all right? Um, if we're gonna have a, a, a move of the day, that's what I try catching. I tried catching the the move of the day. So I tried US pairs in, in uh, New York session. So the move of the day has not happened yet, right? We're still within this range. Um, that being said, we swept liquidity, start making the reversal down and break structure to the downside. That gives me the signal to enter and there we go. 20 point stop loss, 30, 60 point take profit. Nicely that done, mate. Nicely done. Now, um, should we have a quick look at some of those... Uh other trade examples you've got in Notion just to show or maybe even frequency to start off before you dive in. So how many, tra so these, these are all the trades you've taken uh, across the this course of January, yeah? Yeah, this is January right here. Okay, and, that's, uh, that's quite cool. Yeah, so 
it uh, shows you how often you're trading and you know what you could do. I built this thing and uh, I have it for all my students, so then they can use it too because it's a. I think it's a great journal. So we can. Yeah, I'll is- tell you what. I'll tell you what. Why don't we do a bit of fun here? Are we we haven't gone through any of these. I'm going to pick a date in a trade, okay. and we're going to see if it's a winner or a loss. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do okay, it. Okay, right. So I'm going to go with trade um, two on the 18th now i kind of just remembered something which just hit crate trade two on the 18th of january yeah it's gonna be a loss yeah it's gonna be a loss isn't it because i just remembered that in the interview you said that you would take three trades if the first two are a loss so Mm -hmm. i kind of like screwed myself there um (laughs) let's just have a look so okay so this sort of paints the picture that normally you take a loss and then a win yeah yeah so well depend i mean i'm not gonna like like lie on or anything I, i've had days where i lose three trades in a row but if i'm taking one to threes every time the next day i hit a one to three and make it all back so i don't really care um yeah this is a loss that we took we came down and we broke out of this trend line right here also breaking structure and we also had these highs that we swept so there's a liquidity grab setup um yeah it just didn't happen to work out but that's why I, re- I really like Notion because you can add pictures of your setups to see if it was a valid trade. Honestly, I don't even know. I don't even think I would take this trade again just because of how choppy and messy it's been. I like cleaner conditions. Does that make sense? And then you can add you can add like notes right here. So I have like a section where you tell you write down the pair, um, win or loss, and then if then other things that you might want to account for. So I like keeping data if I went against higher time frame trend um, or with it you know, entry type, closure, other other things. Um, and then setup type, if it's breakout, whatever. Just like, that's how I journal my stuff, but you guys could do it uh, according to your strategy. Hey folks, what a view behind me. I'm at Black Bull Markets headquarters here in Auckland, New Zealand. Speaking of views, you can get TradingView paid plans for free at Black Bull Markets, saving you up to $600 a year. That's right, get either the essential plus or premium plans absolutely free, and all you need to do is trade from one lot a month at Black Bull Markets. And you can also get a 100% deposit bonus for your first deposit up to $1,000. All you need to do is click the Trading Nut link in the description below. Awesome. Brilliant. Well, looks. Hey, look, um, thank you very much for sharing. It's been awesome having you on the show. Now, what's the best way for people to find out more about you? Yeah. So my Instagram is EP Capital. That's where I, I give tons of free value out there um, all the time. And then if you're interested in, you know, having me teach you, I do that over there too. So yeah, EP Capital on Instagram. That's where I have everything. Brilliant. Well, look, folks, if you do want to find out more, then click that link below this video. As I mentioned, they have got a podcast. It's epic. There's so much stuff we go into from a mindset point of view. Um, and into his trading in detail. So if you do want to find that out and uh, go and check that out, sorry, should I say uh, the link is underneath the video. Whilst you're down there, hit subscribe, like, and that notifications bell, and we'll see you in the next video.